So here is an Ico HFT90 FM tuner. It's in great cosmetic shape, but unfortunately, mechanically, the tuning mechanism is locked up. And electronically, the power supply is down 100 volts. So it's got some issues. I looked these up. They're only selling for like 30 bucks. So what's the best thing to do with it? Convert it. There's a lot of real estate inside this chassis. I checked the power transformer. It's good. It's got a 6x4 rectifier at an angle. Very cool. These are all 7-pin sockets. So I found an old Utah universal output transformer. This is going to become a cool little guitar amp. Well, here's the bottom side of the tuner. Not a whole lot going on there. So the first step is to gut this thing out, get our transformers landed. I'm going to have to reseat the two output sockets so that 6AQ5s will clear the cabinet. And we'll start building her up. So here is the 6X4 tube. It has the same dimensions as the 6AQ5. And that's what I plan to use for the output tubes in this little retrofit creation. So if this were to plug into the chassis vertically, the tip of the tube would hit the top panel of the cabinet, and that's not good. So my plan is, is to lower these two 7-pin sockets using standoffs approximately a half inch lower, and then these output tubes will be sitting into the chassis slightly and allow clearance for the top panel. This is the bottom side of the unit. It's my little recessed plate holding the original 7-pin tube sockets. I also found a black Amphenol 9-pin socket for the 12AX7. This is my driver board. My next step is to fire up the power supply, put a load on it, and see where that's going to be for the amp. Well, here is a quick power supply test I'm monitoring right off the main filter cap. I have a 10K 25-watt resistor in parallel, so we can pull some current. We'll plug in the supply right now, and let's see what our DC voltage is under load. I've seen about 260 volts. That's absolutely perfect for a pair of 6AQ5s. So the power supply test is good. Here's an update on the Ico tuner being transformed into a guitar amp. These are my output tubes, a pair of 6AQ5s. It's my inverter and a 12AX7 preamp. And we're still going to use that 6X4 rectifier. I recessed the tube sockets by punching a 1 inch hole and landing a plate on standoffs. So now the tubes will have no problem clearing the cabinet top. So now we're entering the wiring stage. You're probably wondering what I'm going to do with this front panel. I'm going to maintain the volume with the on-off switch. The tuning will be the input. So the shaft has already been disconnected internally. We're going to have the quarter inch input jack there. And then I'll add a treble and bass pot on either side of the ICO emblem. Keep it basic. Another thing I need to point out, the ICO had this cool fluorescent tuning tube that would show the stations. I'm going to reuse that so I know what the power supply requirements are. So that will be illuminated just like it was back in the day. This is the front panel layout. So this is my volume with the power switch. We have trouble base input and of course the dial will be lit. Well, here's another update on the ICO project. I've got it all wired, tubes are installed, and it is working. Backside you see the new tube line up. We have a 12AX7, pair of 6AQ5s, 6AV6 inverter. This is that nice old Utah output transformer. I changed the volume control with a 1 meg and, of course, the new filter cap. Let's take a look underneath. All right, bottom side, the layout looks really nice. I added a fuse, of course. We have output jacks for 4 and 8 ohm. 
This is my driver board. Power supply section. This is the screen cap. That's the preamp cap. Here is a little voltage dividing network so that we could run that original DM70 indicator lamp. So I've got the ICO sitting on its base and rubber feet so you can see there's plenty of clearance between the treble and base control to the bottom. Turn on the power. You can see I don't have a power indicator light, but wait a second and you'll see what we got. Oh yeah, the original indicator lamp. So the amp is powered up right now. Volume's all the way down. Dead quiet. All right, I'm driving a pair of 12 inch Celestians, eight ohm. <laughs> full volume. So remember this is a class AB amp running only 250 volts plate. So she gets nice and loud but it stays chimey all the way up. I'm sure the response you would get would be much different with the guitar input. Now I was able to tap off of one of the speaker outputs and I got the indicator lamp to where it will respond to the audio. Once again, the response is going to vary depending on your input. Yes, the reconfiguration of the chassis was quite a bit of work. But where the big payoff here is, you get to utilize the chassis, of course, that original power transformer, tube sockets, and many other components, which really reduces the cost of building this little boutique amp. I'll take you around the unit and show you what it looks like reassembled. I think it's a really cool looking little amp. Remember, it's probably only about five watts. Class AB though. So here's the back side with the cover installed. This is speaker outs for four and eight ohm. Yes, I will be labeling those. Here's the bottom side of the amp. Still looks stock. Pretty cool little project. Well, if this little repurposed amp project intrigues you, you'll find this model and many others on dlabelectronics.com under the offerings tab. If you want to build one of these yourself, get on eBay or other sources and find this ICO HFT 90 tuner. They're relatively inexpensive and contact me and I can supply you with the class AB board and you can build one yourself.